Well, hello there, Jubilee. Trust that you are well and Happy New Year to you all. My prayer is that the Lord will bless you and your family and all your endeavors this year in Jesus' name. Well, of course, if you've been in the life of Jubilee for a while, you know that the beginning of every year is a time of us fasting. 21 days praying and fasting and just being before the Lord and seeking His face for us. And this year is no different. First thing to say right off the bat is that the fasting starts on Monday the 8th of January 2018, Monday the 8th. But we come together on Sunday to hear God's word together, to worship God, to catch a fresh vision for it, so that we're not doing anything we're doing out of mere duty or dictation, but we're doing it out of a deep desire to be before the Lord, to seek His face, to hear His voice. But what I thought I would do in this very short video is to talk not so much about the spiritual side of fasting or the uh, importance or benefits of it, but to talk more about some of the practical things, how to prepare for fasting, how to prepare yourself for these 21 days of fasting. Well, uh, first of all, I'm going to give a definition of fasting. Fasting really is in its simplest form, it is the abstinence from food and drinks for a defined period of time for the sole purpose of seeking God's face, having intimacy with Him, and getting spiritual and supernatural breakthrough in life. That's what it is. It is staying away from food and drink for a set period of time for intimacy with God and for supernatural breakthrough. And the evidence from the scriptures and the lives of those who walk with God who fast is this. God hears, God answers, God responds as we seek Him with prayer and fasting. Also, Jesus told us to fast. So, what are the practical things that one needs to do in order to be able to enter into it right and sustain? Real quickly, number one, you need to prepare your heart. In the book of Mark, chapter 12, verse 30, Jesus says, You know, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And when I read that, I'm thinking to myself, there are a number of key things there that help me draw closer, help me demonstrate and show my love to God. So when it comes to preparing for the 21 days of fasting, number one, prepare your heart. That is, begin to let your heart be ready for intimate moments with God. Begin to thank God. Begin to talk to God, begin to pray into it so that it's not just something you switch on when this fasting starts. It's, you're kind of already, you have something of a run inside your spirit that is happening. It is, a, it, is, it is having a hunger and thirst for God. For me, I would often think, Lord, what are the things I'm looking to you for? What are the things that I want above all? It's you I want, not just things around. So that's the first thing you want to prepare your heart. Secondly, you want to prepare your soul. That is, a time of fasting, particularly a long fast like this, 21 days, is a time of soberness. It's a time to really collect your thoughts and quieten your heart. And therefore, you want to take away distractions, however they may be. It really is a time for re removing or reducing social media. Uh, activity. It's a time for removing or reducing television watching. It's a time for uh, switching off your Netflix and so on. You've got the rest of the year to watch these things, but to take time out with serious devotion to God, you want to remove all the distractions. Prepare your heart, prepare your souls. Number three, you want to prepare your mind. That is, from now, begin to think, well, actually, how am I going to do this fast? Uh, what am I going to eat? What am I not going to eat? And uh, how am I going to pray? Where am I going to pray? And what is that going to look like for me? Perhaps the biggest thing in preparing your mind is this. What part of the Bible am I going to be reading? What books about God am I going to be reading? And really getting myself deep inside. So that times like this, extended fast, have to do with seeking God in His Word, praying to God with your words, and then reading books about God that help you get closer. You want to prepare your heart, you want to prepare your soul, you want to prepare your mind, then you want to prepare your strength, your body. Be clear what it is you are going to eat, what time, what the fast is going to look like. There are various kinds of fasts and they take various different ways. 
for the most part, most people uh, here in the Life of Jubilee are going to go through almost like a series of one-day fasts. It's a 21-day fast. They will go abstain from food in the from breakfast, no breakfast, no lunch, and then break the fast in the evening, somewhere around the six o'clock mark. Um, uh, they will have uh, some liquids, but my advice is this: it's not a time to get all caffeined up. It's not a time to you know grind all the solids you can find and then drink them. I say it's liquid. It's a time. To be honest, you want to try to keep to water or maybe just water and a little bit of lime, something like that. Because it's a beautiful effect of cleansing your body right through the season as well. And then you want to be clear, what is it I'm going to eat when it comes to eating? You don't want to be gorging. You don't want to be, uh, 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 it's not a time for treats and sweets. It's a time for abstinence. And so for many people, actually, uh, when it comes to the eating time, they also, they, they've decided things that they're, not, they're going to actually keep away from the diet. And then they're going to go through the whole 21 days like that. And then finally, prepare your life. I have found that when it's time for a particular extended fasting, one of the ways that I prepare for the fasting is I begin to remove the clutters in my life. I just tidy things up. I tidy my study up. I tidy other areas up. There's just and and then there are maybe emails or things waiting for my attention. I try to get them all out of the way as best I can, so that there is a, a my heart can be focused on God. We live lives that are often very cluttered. You know, you want to go before God, leaving all that behind. Therefore, tidy much of that up as best as you can, and at the end of it you will find God meet with you as you enter into this time of fasting, during the fasting, and then even beyond the time of fasting, that the Lord will meet with you. Expect miraculous. Expect the supernatural. Live a life of faith, seeking Him at all times. For those of you at work times, that you probably want to think of what your lunch time is going to look like. You want to think about what the beginning of the day is going to look like. You want to think about what the end of the day is going to look like. Um, and then just enact it. Once you have the plan, everything goes well. In the end, the Bible says this. God says in Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 13, Seek me and you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. And then it goes on to say this, And I will be found. In other words, God is not playing hide and seek. He's playing seek and find. You will find him because he wants to be found. Love you, Jubilee. God bless.